I'm still a student and for the past year now, I haven't been able to go to school in person because of COVID. Instead, I have to sit here and listen to professors talk all day. I haven't been able to see my friends and the only interaction I get is through these boring, flat 2D computer screens. I really miss this in-person interaction. And so I thought, what is the closest thing I could build to make myself feel like I'm talking to someone real again? I found these videos on YouTube where they have this huge computer screen and project it over some sort of acrylic glass and it creates this super cool optical illusion. So this gave me the idea. I could build a sort of hologram and project my friends' faces onto there. So whenever I'm talking to them, it feels like I'm talking to a real person, even though they're not next to me. And that's exactly what we're going to do in this video. Now, what I'm building isn't exactly a hologram. It uses something called Pepper's Ghost Illusion, which creates a virtual image by using a half slanted mirror. I made a small prototype to show you all what it looks like. Let me show you how I built this. is made of is three acrylic sheets that I got off Amazon and uh, this black thing is plastic and it was 3d printed for uh, my phone and so this is a Galaxy S9 plus and when I put my Galaxy S9 over this um, I see my phone screen projected onto there So as you can see, the hovering effect looks pretty cool. Now the image isn't perfectly clear and sharp and that's due to a variety of factors such as the quality of the plexiglass I'm using, but uh, I think for this project it's good enough. Alright, so now that I'm confident that my thing will work thanks to the prototype I made, we're going to move on to the big version. So instead of a phone screen, I'm going to have a giant ass monitor, but the whole concept is the same with the hologram. So let's get to work. dive a bit more into how the illusion works since it's actually pretty interesting but it comes to our very basic understanding of optics and how our eyes work first we need to understand that light diffuses radially and when we recognize an object like an apple what we're actually recognizing is a set of points where light converges now we're going to use this concept to deceive our eyes by manipulating these different rays of light. If we use something like a mirror or a plexiglass surface, we can deflect these rays of light. The reflected light rays respect the law of reflection, which states that light is reflected off a reflective surface with an angle of incidence equal to the angle of reflection. Let's look at what happens with our hologram setup. The monitor displays the image of an apple. As we said before, light diffuses regularly. So there's rays coming out of this apple in every direction. Let's take two arbitrary rays and apply the law of reflection. We end up with two reflected rays which seem to be diverging. Now, this is where the magic happens. So in this case, our eyes try to extrapolate the point that comes out of these rays and we see that the point is actually on the other side of the acrylic sheet, even though that is not actually where the original apple image was projected. This is called a virtual image. So what it concretely means for eyes is that we see an image floating in the air. It's the same thing that happens when you look at yourself in the mirror and there seems to be a clone of yourself on the other side. And this is how the Pepper's Ghost Illusion work. Now let's get back and finish building this thing.
This looks fucking sick. Now I have my very own e-girl for myself. But that's not the reason I started this video in the first place. I wanted to call my friends and have their faces projected on this. So I'm gonna call up a few friends and see how they look on my hologram. Hey William, how are you doing today? Yeah, what's up, Gangster? Are you having a good day? I'm having a pretty good day, thanks. Oh, awesome. I'm having a great day. Yeah, man. I don't I'm really care, but yeah. Okay, so what I'm trying out is this brand new uh, invention I made out. It's a, it's a hologram. Uh, basically, I'm gonna show you my shit, and you're gonna say, you're gonna tell me if it's good or if it's bad. Okay. So, you ready? You wanna see it? But I am. Whoa! Hey. I see myself. This is you. What the? Hold up. Damn, this is pretty shit. Does it look like you're floating for, from your camera? It does, you know, like it's um, some Star Wars shit, okay? Gosh, that's amazing! So, would you consider using this product in your everyday life, Lawrence? Being? Oh, shit! <laughs> you know, um, if ever you find love in life, I'm sure you will. Um, as a first date, you know, well, maybe just, you know, instead of having you being there, you can just put like this pyramid so your um, loved person will be able to see you, feel you uh, intimately, just as if you were there from the comfort of your home, so. I am the one, the way your son don't need a gun to get respect up on the street. Under the sun, the best, the sun will pop the... Wow. Wow, what a sexy, huh? <laughs> you like this? You like this? No. Why not? No? I, just, I like uh, rock, rock. Thank you all for watching today's video. Now, these things take a lot of time to make, so it'd be really appreciated if you guys could subscribe, leave a thumbs up, and turn on the notification bell if you wanna see more of this content. Now, in terms of the hologram itself, I gotta admit, it didn't turn out to be as impressive as I thought it would be. And I think part of the reason is because I made the pyramid first room shape just a bit too tall, which resulted in uh, the projection not being as far away from the wall as I wished. But I really don't care at this point. It's been fucking three months I've been stuck in this project and I'm finally ready to move on. And in fact, this summer, I'm really excited because I got a sick schedule lined up for you guys. I'm planning to upload at least once a week. I know that's a huge promise. Um, I didn't deliver last time, but let's see if I can deliver this time. So if you guys wanna see more of these kind of content where I merge software, hardware, just build super cool stuff, and you guys want to follow me along this journey and be entertained, then make sure you subscribe and I'll see you next time.